Yes. Yes. Get it over the side, bro. <laughs> That's third time's yes. a charm. <laughs> you did it. Yes. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's They're hungry, aren't they? Smashed it. That's a nice barra. That is nuts. I'm sitting here tying my fish trap on and this guy's popped up. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, mate. This is it. Go that's for it. it. Cheers. Come on. G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fish shows all over the country with incredible fishing adventures. This is part two of our trip with Cannon Charters to the magnificent Kimberley region in Western Australia. And so far, it has been an absolute cracking trip with our fishing addiction member, Blake. If you missed last week, let's take a quick look back at all the action. What the f <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the f it's, it's a bucket list destination for for anyone, including me, right? I'm, I'm pumped. 15 species, mate. To catch a fish like that is an absolute cracker. If you get a barra over a metre, you instantaneously win. A nice one. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Top water barra. Whoa. Job, Blakey. So he's still got a fair bit of work to do to win the Fishing Addiction Challenge. $5,000 worth of gear from our good friends at Wilson. And of course, $2,000 worth of gear from addicttackle.com.au. Seven grand up for grabs for Blake. He's got a bit of work to do. Let's go fishing. Absolutely sensational. We are at the bottom of Vansatar Bay. Yep. Yeah, Vansatar Bay in the Kimberley. How beautiful is this place? It's incredible. The rock formations here are some of the most beautiful you'll see in the world. Absolutely incredible. And today we're hoping to do one of my absolute favorite things ever, and that's catch a fish called, now I'm not being rude, they are literally called this, blue bastards. Catch them in these shallows. We need the sun to be a lot higher, and we can actually target them in the shallows. We can chuck little soft plastics at them. And on this light gear, it is going to be a real challenge for you, my friend. It's gonna be great. And part of your challenge is, of course, to get a blue bastard. But what a backdrop. So while we wait for the sun, we can flick this edge. We might even get lucky and get one. But there's trout in here, trevallies, all sorts of critters. I'm excited. He's not saying much though. I'm you, pumped. Uh, you are? I'm absolutely pumped. You sure? Yep. He's pumped. So the name of the game here is to actually sight cast to these fish. So you'll see them feeding with their noses down, tails up, and they're highly concentrated on whatever they're doing. And you cast your lure in as close as you possibly can. Very little movement, because they'll spook easily. And they've got these big rubber lips, a bit like a golden trevally, and they'll come over, suck them in. There's one. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Got him. Set it. What is it? It's a blue oh, it is too. You've got him. Yep, you've got him. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's a cracker. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Bad luck, mate. That was an absolute cracker as well. You worked it perfectly. You just notice how when you started to wind, you went after it? Yeah. Now they don't normally do that. So obviously he wanted it to chase it down. Oh, that was exciting. Definitely a missed opportunity there for Blake. The pressure is on, but this is what makes the blue bastard one of my favorite fish to target. Yep, got him. Oh. I felt the ticket actually hit it this time. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's that blue run. Oh, yes. This is what we've come for. Blake's unfortunately dropped a couple, but his turn will come. Ooh. 
Oh, he's coming now. I'll probably get one more big run out of him, I reckon. Look at him. Oh, oh they sure do that big motor. I think we're going to have to go the other side, mate. Yeah, here we go. Yes. I tell oh, you. There's a bit of weight in that, mate. Yeah, tell you what, it is so oh, worth. Oh, oh, oh. You come, you come to Western Australia, to the Kimberley, just to do that. Oh, that is amazing. Oh my Lord, look at that animal. That is sensational. To me, it doesn't get any better than that. Wow. And Your it, turn, Blake. That's <laughs> a milky. Oh, no, it's a GT. This is incredible. You haven't even won the challenge yet. No, no. <laughs> Look at that croc coming out. Wow. Hooking fish in a couple of feet of water, but as long as your leg, that ain't bad. For your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. You could travel to some of the best fishing destinations in Australia and the world, including Vanuatu, New Zealand, far north Queensland, the Northern Territory and Western Australia, just to name a few. You also go in the draw for one of our incredible monthly prizes, just like this beautiful 17-foot Sportsman Reef. Simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up today. That's a milky. Oh, it's a GT. Oh no. Oh no. That was really dumb. Oh no. Oh, what did I do that for? Oh no. Oh gosh. That was really dumb. When you got a rod in your hand, sometimes you just can't help yourself, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> oh man, what a backdrop to be doing this. Incredible. Yeah, cracker. That's the warm up, mate. The warm up. To the blue thing. <laughs> Look at I that. I like gear like that either. <laughs> Was that a good fight or what? Yeah, excellent. Well, we've just spotted one up in the shallows there. It's a really big one, actually. Holy smoke. No, stay where you are. He'll swing the boat. He's coming towards us, but you don't want it. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. If he's going to go past it, give it a twitch. All right, he's on it. He's on it. Relax. Wait for the tick. You got him. Yes. <laughs> well angled, mate. That was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Remember, there's that um, rock to your left. Yep. <laughs> You're good. You're in open ground. Oh, that was sensational. You played that perfectly, Blake. He's got nothing to say. He's very quiet. He's concentrating. <laughs> Look how blue this one is. Wow, he's pretty. Third time's yes. a charm. <laughs> yes. You did it! Yes! <laughs> Look at that. Look how blue that one is. Oh! I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is incredible. You haven't even won the challenge yet. No, I know. <laughs> it feels I don't like need it. to. <laughs> I'm so excited to catch a fish this big. <laughs> it's not that big, but it was just so cool. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Well, it deserves to live. How about you let it go, mate? You jump down there. Nice and easy. I'll balance the boat. And he's gone. Uh, so that brings you to a tally of number nine. Nine? Nine. With the key fish ticked off. Key fish ticked off. And now all you've got to do is go to the reef and just smash it, bro. Come on, you Thanks, Blake. Mate. No worries, Thank buddy. you. That was so good. 
victorious! Uh. Look at that croc coming out. Wow! Well done, Blake. Everyone is feeling great having knocked off a key species in the Fishing Addiction Challenge. It's a perfect excuse to call time on the fishing and head back to the MV Cannon Mothership for a delicious seafood lunch with the rest of the crew. The food is so good here. I always leave the boat a little heavier than when I boarded. Well, this is the second part of our day. And we've had our fun with those blue frustrating fish. Now we just need to rack up a few more species. Unfortunately, that wind has picked up and it is choppy, but that's okay, we're out here, we're fishing. It's not too bad, you can still stand up. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna try and find some more reef species for Blake. So what are you up to, nine? Nine, yeah. Six to go. Bang. Oh, bang. Oh, dead sticky, smack that, that feels like a trout. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Absolutely smacked it. Ho, 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 ho! Now he will not be going back in the water. Lovely, just legal size. Perfect for the frying pan. We're taking that guy back. I know what I'm eating for dinner. Yeah. So it's a bit of a catch-22. When you come onto the neap tides, which are the smaller tides coming off the full moon, what happens is you have a very little run when you're offshore and no run, no fun. So springs are better for your blue water and your neeps are better for up in the estuary systems there, much cleaner water. So it's like, oh, which one? So we tried to time this trip so the very beginning of it, we had a little bit of springs left, um, but we didn't end up doing blue water. And now we're right in the middle of the neeps. The neeps. There's a lot less run in the water, so you just don't get the volume of fish on this. Mind you, I will say this, we have fished the neeps and done really well on the reefs in and around the Kimberley. But uh, so far, not so good. Yep. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Up, up, up. Come on, Blakey. Yeah, it's, it's a good fish. What have we got? It's a cod. It's a cod. Uh, different species. It's gold spot. Leader touched. Your beauty. <laughs> Perfect. Number 10, baby. Now, it's probably only a face a mother can love, but they are a cool fish. Yeah. See all the gold spots all over him? And those eyes are almost, I don't know, purple. Purple and orange. And they're an excellent table fish when you steam them in particular. They're just beautiful, very delicate flesh. A lot of people overlook them, but man, they're a good fish. Yeah, go, get it up. Oh, it's a trout! <laughs> it's a trout! <laughs> Let me lift it, touch the leader. Yeah! Woo! Number 11, baby. Number 11. Perfect eating size. We've got a pigeon pair in there now. Uh, it's just such an incredible fishery here. There's so many different varieties and so much to do. It's, yeah, it's second to none. Never seen anything like it. It's his escape. Um, you know, other guys may go down to the pub and have a few bevies with their friends or, you know, go to the footy on a weekend. His is his fishing. Um, it's just the one thing that he can rely on to get him, if he's stressed out, doesn't matter what he's going on in his life, that'll get him back to where he needs to be at. Well, it is the dawn of a new day and we have two days to go. And that's the beauty of fishing with the guys from Cannon is that you have a great meal at night, you go to bed and you wake up in another location. This is the mouth to the Mitchell. The tides are perfect here right now for barra fishing. Now, <sighs> Blake still has four species to go, but in this particular river, you can get all sorts of different species you can catch in here. So the challenge is definitely doable. We have two more days. We're gonna do it here. Fingers crossed for Blake, we come up trumps. Here we 
we go. Tell you what, a metre bar would be nice just to seal the deal, wouldn't it, eh? Sure. Mate, that is so barrel like. Like you could literally in the in the greens, mate. Morning. Oh, there's one. Barra. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh. Cast in Gosh, this is just champagne barramundi fishing. Be nice to see some bigger ones come over the side. And I'm, I've, I've got a feeling it will happen. Nice little barra. Beautiful saltwater barramundi. Yeah, good start. Right, I'll spit it out so quick. There you go. Oh, a little one. There's a bigger one in there. Oh, oh, bigger one on it. Come on. Oh, come on, got it. Should have made it the 100 barra challenge, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, no pressure. Yeah, Got him. Come, on, come on, please. Well, I don't know, but it's fighting like, not like a barra. Oh, come on. Goldie, he's got one with him. How cool is that? There's a whole stack of them. Well, the question is, is it, is it, is it big enough? It's a legal fish? Yeah, we got to count that, definitely. How many is that? 12. 12. Three to go. And you've got, basically, it's only just the morning, you've got two days to do it. In an estuary. In an estuary, yeah. Yeah, it's a triple tail. I got a triple tail. That's what he's after. I didn't mean to. Oh, geez, I have a go, these things. Get out, get out, get us out, bro. You're taking us back in. No. Triple tail, triple tail. That's a cracker. Where there's one, there's often more. Yes. Mate, why do I feel bad? <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't make them eat your lure. I can't make them stay connected and I'm gonna keep fishing, I, I'm sorry. Oh, that is a cool fish. I've actually caught them before, but I've never seen them jump in the air like they are here. You can see why they call them triple tails because their dorsal and pec fins are, not pec fins, their dorsal fin and anal fin are very close to their rear fin, so it looks like they have three tails. A legendary triple tail. What a great fighting fish. I'd love to see Blake find one of these on the end of his line. Blake needs to see some new species come over the side of the boat if he's going to have any chance of winning the $7,000 in fishing gear from Wilson Australia and AddictTackle.com. Uh, I think I'm going to go a fish trap, mate. And these sticks, nothing works better than a fish trap. Fish oh, dude. You know what, I actually think that was a caddy. See how it went in a spiral? Yeah. Just trying to make you feel better, bro. Thank you. Straight down, straight into a cod. Tell you what, if we were relying on fish for food, we wouldn't be starving, would we? Got enough to feed a dozen families. Boatload, mate. Boatload of eight. Triple tail. Get in the net. Yes! Yes! 
Yes. Mate, give us a look. Yes, it's a triple tail. You know, it's not much bigger than the brim. And we didn't count the brim, but these are hard to get. These are rare. They're awesome fish. Did not expect one to get one this far up the river. What have you got to say? <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> That's rare for you, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are great fish. And Good that brings you up fish. to number 13. 13, yeah. Is it 13? Yeah. 13. Wow. Two to go, but the species are thinning out. Yeah. So who knows, mate? Who knows? But this fish deserves to live. It's Absolutely. a magnificent fish. I'm going to let it go. For your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. You could travel to some of the best fishing destinations in Australia and the world, including Vanuatu, New Zealand, far north Queensland, the Northern Territory, and Western Australia, just to name a few. You also go in the draw for one of our incredible monthly prizes, just like this beautiful 17 foot Sportsman Reef. Simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up today. We got a triple tail, I hooked a triple tail straight up, never seen a triple tail jump before. It was an absolutely surreal feeling. Uh, seeing it next to the boat and, and Mick getting it in the net there. I, I couldn't believe it, it just, just come in straight after losing one too. Nice cast to start you off. Two to go brother. Two to go. The boys cleaned up on the barra. They got some blue salmon. That would be one to tick off. Yeah, good brassy. A good brassy trevally, mate. You might do it today if you're lucky. Found a few. Oh, nice jack. Oh, that's a stonker. That is a stonker. I've actually never seen anyone catch a jack over 50 centimetres, except for my daughter in Weeper. Ella. Get a better, bigger one than me, but I've never seen a, a 50 caught on um, on the show. Never. No? No. Millions of it in the 40s, but never one over 50. Jack wall. Get out of there. Get out. Yeah. Jack. Yep. Me too. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Decision release. Oh, look at the colour. Look how dark this guy is. That's a crazy colour. I'd love to get a photo of that guy. Barra. Here they are. You go that way, I'll go this way. Found a barra. Thank the Lord. But, um, I've got more of these today than I have in my whole life, I reckon. In one day? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm from the Territory. <laughs> Good, see, and I'll just look at this guy over your shoulder here. That's a decent sized crocodile right there. Yeah, you so can let that I fish like go. Spear him in. Yeah, and there's another one behind us. Oh, another big one over there, excellent. What, that one's even bigger. Wonderful. What do you got, mate? I don't know. Yeah! <laughs> I like it. Now, that is a very small blue salmon. Very small. Mick? I normally wouldn't allow this, but, uh, you know, as far as blue salmon goes, it's blue salmon. <laughs> yeah, it's tiny. What do you reckon? Yeah, no, we're going to count it. Yes. We've got to count it. 14, mate. 14, yes. 14. That's a great fish. Oh, thank you. Only one more species to go. This has been an epic fishing adventure for our Fishing Addiction member, Blake, and we're all hoping he can hook up on one more species and win the Fishing Addiction Challenge. The Kimberley has really turned it on for us over the past few days. Great weather, beautiful scenery, and even some close encounters with the saltwater crocodile population. We genuinely feel right now that we are being stalked by this crocodile. Like, 
We keep fishing and he's slowly nudging closer and closer to us and particularly when we get a fish, he just makes his way over. You can see that tail start to kick into gear again. Yeah, you see the splashing? Really gets, look at him, he's coming in closer. It's nerve wracking, I gotta say. I mean, I don't think he's gonna do anything, but I don't like it very much. How you feel about it, mate? You all right? I don't like it at all. <laughs> well, we're going to leave, Mr. Crocodile. You can have your wall back. We're going that way. Thank you very much. Poor guy, he is trying so hard. Only one species to go. We are at the pointy end of this trip. We have, well, pretty much today's done, and we have tomorrow until four o'clock before we have to steam all the way back to where the plane's gonna pick us up. One to go, pretty much one day, seven grand on the line. I don't think I've had a barra session like it out of those sticks up there. I think we pulled 20, 30 barra out of one snag. Um, one day to go, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm confident, but at the same time, I know that there's, uh, there's, there's a lot of fish in here, but I think we've, we've ticked a lot of them off. So, um, fingers crossed and hoping the, the fish gods are on our side tomorrow. This is our last day, brother. Last day. We're going to have lunch out here today. So we don't go back to the cannon. We're gonna stay out here until three o'clock. You have till three o'clock to get one more species. We're gonna try our absolute best. And I think just from the barra fishing, we may get bycatch and that's what's gonna win it for you. Yep. Good luck. Thank you, mate. Enjoy yourself. Cheers. Oh gosh, that's that hungry, smashed aren't they? it. That's a nice barra. That is nuts. I'm sitting here tying my fish trap on and this guy's popped up. Mate, I don't know what it is about this river, but they're, uh, the crocs are a little bit too friendly. Well, this is the last hurrah, mate. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, mate. This is it. Go That's for it. it. Cheers. Come on. Are the fishing gods with us today? This is our last day, brother. Last day. We're gonna have lunch out here today. So we don't go back to the cannon. We're gonna stay out here until three o'clock. You have till three o'clock to get one more species. We're gonna try our absolute best. And I think just from the barra fishing, we may get bycatch and that's what's gonna win it for you. Yep. Good luck. Thank you, mate. Enjoy yourself. Cheers. We're heading into the last day of fishing. This is gonna be close. Blake is gonna need a little bit of luck. We plan to target barramundi in the hope that another curious and new species of fish will hook up. Everyone on the boat wants to see Blake succeed. Fish on, straight up. First cast. What do you got? It's running. Nice goldie, get the day started. I think every day. It's yeah. been a, a goldie. A first cast fish. It has, isn't it? Yeah. The mornings are definitely where it's at. That's a lovely fish. You found the mother load of uh, goldies, mate. Oh gosh, that's They're hungry, aren't they? Smashed it. Yeah, lovely. This is fun. dropped it and the cod took it out. Uh, look, <laughs> look at this. So now you got the cod. I've got the cod now. That's <laughs> nuts. No, it wasn't Queensland Groper I was looking. That's crazy. You know the fishing's on when the stuff like that happens. So he's pulled the goalie to the boat, a cod's followed it up, the hooks fell out, and then the cod ate the fish trap. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. You got a knock, did you? Oh, there you go. Oh. That that could be one. Out wide. What is that? It's going for a run. 
Hey, that's better. That could be a Trevally. Oh, what is that? That's a nice barra. Out wide, how's that, eh? Oh, he's a cracker. <laughs> nice fish. Like, such a quality fish, and we're almost a little bit melancholy about the whole thing because <laughs> we're waiting for something different. <laughs> Oh, careful, careful, Look careful, croc, careful. Croc. Look at that croc coming in on you, mate. Holy smoke, that's uh, scary. Not a massive croc, but it's enough to pull you over the side, isn't it? Now that tide has just changed. We don't have a lot of flow in here today, but you can see the leaves are starting to move down now. We sort of assumed that the barrel would come on when that happened. That's a good fish. Solid. Ooh, yes, jumps in the net, the slam dunk. Beautiful barrel, Mundy. Oh, there he is. Oh, gosh, you wanted it. Oh, that's weird. Ah, it's a foul hook shark in the bum. In the bum. And no, sharks do not count, if you're wondering. Look at that black peep whaler. Ooh, it's having a go. That's like a five kilo brim, mate. Cod, I don't know. What is it? <laughs> we all want to know. It's a cod. <laughs> yeah, you have. Good try. four and a half hours left. I'm going to throw a wild card in purely because we are stuck in the rivers. We can't do the blue water. It's just too gnarly out there, right? One species to go and I, I actually just was sitting here and I did remember we did count a brim for somebody once before on the show. <laughs> so I've got to be fair, but it was an absolute stonker, right? For the species. So if you do catch a brim and it's over 35 centimeters, we're going to count it, okay? We really want you to win, man. We want you to win, Blake. He's a good yeah, fellow. Thank you. Blake. We want him to win, and I know Wilson would want him to win. I know Rodney at Attic Tackle would want you to win. So there's another one in the mix for you. Thank you. We're doing everything we can. Yeah. It's got to be a big one, mate. Keep casting, bro. He's got butterflies. <laughs> he couldn't be more deserving, and he's been through so much. Um, and he, he takes on so much for other people as well. He's always there for everyone around him. So for him to have this break, which I think he really needs, um, and for him to just have such a good time away from everyone, doing the thing that he loves on such an incredible trip, like it, it just means everything for me, to me, for him to be able to have that. Big fish, it's coming up. I've got a feeling it's a big barra, I think. Oh, he's gonna spool me. Mate, he's going, going, gone. Another. Ooh. Ah! Gone. Do I want to maybe throw one of these? That is nuts. I'm sitting here, tying my fish trap on, and this guy's popped up. Mate, I don't know what it is about this river, but they're, uh, the crocs are a little bit too friendly. It is half past one. Oh, he's on. Please be something different. Schnapper. Schnapper. Another nice one. Uh, we've got about an hour and a half, but we also have to get back to the boat too, so I'd say we have about an hour. Yeah, it's getting a bit dodgy.
Well, this is the last hurrah, mate. This is it, our last spot now. This is known as Trevally Rock to some of the guides because they have caught some really nice brassy Trevally and other types of Trevally here. We've got a little Venom V swim on the light rod. Good luck, my friend. Thanks, mate. This is it. Go That's for it. it. Cheers. Come on. Are the fishing gods with us today? Whack! That's a bigger fish, whatever it is. I think oh. it's a cod. Whacked it. Oh my lord, I think it's a cod. That's a nice goalie, man. That thing went like a rocket. Oh! There we go. Look at that. Just such a beautiful fish. I can't tell you how many we've caught of these. I'd say probably a couple of hundred in the last week. Um, vibing for these in the sticks or around these rocky headlands and whatever have you has been absolutely fantastic. So much fun. So we've actually found on the back of this rock another big school of golden snapper. Blake's gone back to the vibe because it's fun. It's a good way to finish off and you just never know something might turn up. That's not a snapper. Yes, Blake? Absolutely. But regardless, the goldie fishing's a whole lot of fun. I reckon I've caught maybe 50 fish on this vibe today. On the same vibe? On the same vibe. The fish traps, mate, they're my favourite. All right, Blake, last cast, mate. This is the absolute last chance you have to win the challenge. This is the one. Good luck. Oh no, it's a snack. Oh no. Oh, oh no, I got it off, got it off. He got it off, all right, he's still going. He's still in the game. And he snagged again. <laughs> got it off? Are you, are you joking? No. Nah. Yeah, you keep dropping it back in the same snag. And that's the game. That Mate. is that. Played well, tried hard. Very, very hard. What a week, eh? Been an epic week, mate. Unfortunately, Trevally Rock did not deliver for Blake, so he's just missed out on the Fishing Addiction Challenge. Ideally, we would have liked to have been out on the blue water for that afternoon, but the wind made that an impossible reality. There wasn't much we could do. Well, Blake, first things first, Trevally. Now that Trevally comes through. <laughs> first things first, the challenge didn't work out for us. No. That's how it goes. It's life. We tried very, very hard. Uh, but beyond that, mate, how was your week? I had an absolutely incredible week. Really? Yeah, it's been amazing from the Moyle right over to the Mitchell, just the scenery and the quantity, just the quantity of fish has just been incredible. Nuts, isn't it? What's your highlight of the Kimberley trip, do you think? Um, probably yesterday, yeah, the first snag that we pulled. That over. was ridiculous. Oh, this is insane. Fish after fish after fish. Yeah, it was such a variety as well. Yeah. Barramundi, Queenies, Goldies, Jacks. Non-stop. Yeah, triple tail. I think we've got 10 in a row or something yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And uh, mate, is there anyone at home you'd like to thank? Looking down the barrel there, because yeah. I know someone got you a membership. Yeah, Katarina, my beautiful wife. Um... Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We knew this was coming. No, I, I, I wouldn't be anywhere without her. And um, yeah, she's the most, most amazing mother I've ever met, most amazing woman I've ever met, most amazing person I've ever met. Um, yeah, couldn't pick anyone better to spend my life with and uh, I'm so thankful that she nominated me to come on here. And She's got brownie points for life. Yep, she absolutely does. And I know that while you've been here, you've sort of been thinking about your dad a bit. Yeah, would have been cool to come do this with you, mate. Oh, bloody oath, yeah. Yep. But he's still with you in your heart, right? Always is, mate, yeah. Yeah, always is. Good on you. Well, mate, you've been awesome. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for coming on the show. And uh, 
Yeah, let's go back to the mothership and have a few cold ones, eh? Sick. And thank you and Will and no worries, Blake. all the boys at Cannon. It's been an ep epic trip. Yeah, how good's Cannon? Yeah. Oh. It's insane, mate. Go fish in this incredible area and then go back in an afternoon and have a nice cold or a hot shower, whatever you're into. Yeah. A beautiful three. I think one of the nights we had a five course meal. I know. Like, the you, food's a bit fancy schmancy for a fisher like me, uh, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, like, yeah. It is amazing food. It's the best food on any charter I've ever been on. Yeah, 100%. It is absolutely incredible. And that's one of the reasons we come back year after year, because we only want to fish with the best. And uh, without a doubt, the whole cannon setup from Dave, the owner, right through to Beck, who takes the reservations, does all the, all the guides, and of course, Mick, our guide for the week. What a legend he yeah, is, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's a bit Thanks, ugly, Mick. a bit ugly, but apart from that, he's a top bloke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, oh, no. enough of all this soft, gooey stuff. Let's go back and have a beer, Let's eh? do it. All right, mate. Well, special thanks to Canon Charters for our adventure here in the Kimberley. If you're looking for the top of the pyramid, the cream of the crop, Canon Charters is the one for you. They do all through the Northern Territory and of course the beautiful Kimberley website on the screen right now. Of course, thank you to Wilson Australia, the Australian fishing company for all their support. Um, and remember to give yourself the chance to come on the show. You've got to be a fishing addiction member just like Blake. You simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au, sign up today, and you never know, it could be your door I come knocking on next. Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe, and God bless. It's just sitting in the middle. Oh my gosh. There's a barramundi feeding in the hole. Rally and they go, gloom, 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 like the grunt. Right. So you be you bend it so it looks like a mouse, like that. And then you just. If you, you believe that, you are more crazy than I thought you were. Mate. You just put it underwater like Seriously. that. Seriously. And you go. Trevally, 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 Trevally. Man, he was dead. He was sick. Wait, just. What do you believe on?